Hello everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we're going to be playing with the Spellbinders August 2022 card kit. This one's called Butterfly Sparkle. I did an unboxing already and I'll have that linked down below, but we're going to go ahead and get started with our first card. So I've pulled out some of the pattern paper and we're going to trim this down. This piece is going to be my main panel piece and I'm going to trim this down to be four inches by five and a half inches. So there will be a little bit of a white border on one of the sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach this down to one of the card bases that comes in the kit. Now they go ahead and give you 10 card bases with envelopes, uh, but I'm telling you, you can make way more cards than just 10 uh, with all the contents that come in the kit. And I'm going to go ahead and use that um, double-sided tape that comes in the kit. And I, you probably wouldn't have to go as heavy handed with the tape as I do. I just like to make sure that everything stays where it is supposed to stay. Um, but you, you can make cards for days with all the stuff that comes in this kit. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and trim down a couple pieces of this pattern paper and we're going to stick that down. I have picked out a ton of ephemera to use. And when I'm putting out my ephemera, I, especially with these kits, I put it into like groups that make sense to me. So I'll have like big pieces um, and then I'll take maybe smaller ones and put those together. I'll put all the sentiments together. I put those into little piles and then I can grab what I want from each of those piles depending on the look that I'm going for. But I'm just lining all this up on my glass mat. You'll see I have some of that ephemera just sitting up there up above, but off to the side on the right hand side, I have piles of all of that. Like I said, separated out into piles that make sense for me. Now I'm going to take this doily and I'm going to put this down. I am going to use some liquid glue just because I wanted to make sure and get those edges down. The tape would make that a little bit more difficult. And then I'm going to pull in um, just some more of the pieces. This is what I'm talking about. Like I would put the doily and that big like flag banner piece, those would be together. Um, all the words would be in another pile. And this just makes it so easy for my brain to be able to pick out pieces like, oh, I want a big piece here. I need a smaller piece here. I need a sentiment here. And um, like the little, there's a bunch of girls in this one. And so I've, I've pulled some of those out or butterflies and bicycles and typewriters. I put all those together. And that way I can kind of have an idea of what I want to put on each of my card fronts. But this was fun. It was fun to separate them out. You get two of every piece of the ephemera that's in there. So like I said, you could duplicate every card you make and still have tons of stuff left over to make lots and lots of cards. And I will probably use these in my planners uh, and I'll probably use these on some... Um, mixed media paper because there's just so much in here and then the mixing and matching even using older kits would be a lot of fun as well so just kind of playing around with placement on here i'm going to make this a birthday card for my daughter her 21st birthday is coming up here in mid-august and so i wanted to make sure that i had a card that would be perfect for her so I've using that tape, like I said, I go a little heavy handed with the tape, but you could probably go a little less, wouldn't have to do as much as I do. But just stacking it up, making it look visually appealing to me. And then for the girl, I'm gonna put some foam squares. Those come in the kit as well. I'll put a bunch of foam squares all over the back of her, peel off that release paper, and then I can put her down. And then I will put the happy birthday on the front as well. Now, there is so much ephemera in here that I've pulled out some that I'm going to put on the inside of all of the cards that I make today, just because you can. And so I've pulled those out. I've put some of the double-sided tape on the back of those. We'll peel that off. Um, had a little bit of an issue here. I probably just need to use like a, a, a paper piercer to peel that off a little bit or get that started. <laughs> but we got that off of there. We'll put down this beautiful girl with the butterfly wings. And then I'm going to put two more sentiments in there. This one says beautiful dreamer. And then above it is birthday sentiment. So it'll say, have a magical birthday, beautiful dreamer. But there finishes off our first card. And I love how that turned out. Now 
Card number two is going to be a shaker. So I need two panels. I took some of the white cardstock that came in the kit and I trimmed that down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches, two of them. And then I'm going to cut this one down to four inches by five and a quarter so it'll leave a little bit of a white border. And then I am going to go ahead and attach this down to the front of one of those panels. And you'll notice I left it wide open uh, for tape on the inside of that piece. I'm going to take some of the packaging because we're going to just recycle some of that. And this held the six by six paper pad. So I'm going to trim this down and we're going to use this for the front of our flat shaker. So that's what we're making is a flat shaker. And um, I should, I could be able to get two, I think two shakers out of one of these if I really wanted to. So we'll get this one ready. And, but before we attach that down, we're going to go ahead and attach this to one of the white panels, peel off all of that release paper and then leave that nice white border. I'm bringing in the die set that came in this kit. It has this really beautiful border, uh, like a border die, and then a butterfly and a bunch of stars and even a sentiment, which is great. And we're gonna take the um, this one and cut that out of the center of that. That'll be the opening for our shaker. And then I'm also gonna cut that out using some black cardstock that came in the kit. And we're gonna do the same thing with the outline of the stars and the butterfly. And then we'll just use like a paper piercer to pop out all those pieces. And you can see that I'm gonna use the black border inside that piece of the shaker. But we do need to take the other panel that I cut, the other four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece, and we're gonna um, attach some of that double-sided tape to all four sides, or all four, yeah, on the back of it, all four sides. Um, and when you take off the release paper, only take it off of three. I went ahead and took it off of all four. It doesn't end up posing a problem, but it could if you're not paying attention. And so um, I highly suggest doing it on three sides, not four. So then you'll take this, stick that down onto your packaging, and then fold your packaging over, starting on the sides. So make that nice and tight, and then one of the uh, ends. And then you'll have some leftover pieces, so I just trim that off those corners. That's not gonna affect the shaker. Leave the one side open, and then you'll take your shaker bits. In this case, it's the sequins that came in the kit, and be pretty liberal. Um, I wasn't the first go round, and I realized I'm gonna need more than that. So I put a good amount in there, and then now is when you'd peel off that final release uh, paper, but Mine was already taken off, so just close it up, trim off any excess packaging that you have so it doesn't show, and there is the beginning of your shaker. So now I've put some of that same double-sided tape all over the back of this panel that has the opening for our shaker, and I am going to just stick this down onto the other panel. That's going to go right on the top of our shaker panel. and you'll see how well that will shake. Love it. So then we're gonna take our little black frame and we'll use liquid glue and we will adhere that down inside so it frames it out really nicely. And then I'm gonna use some of the pattern paper and cut out the solid pieces or our shadow pieces for our butterfly and our stars. And then we're gonna attach down our outlines for our butterfly and our stars down to those patterns. So pretty. And there's uh, the little butterfly body as well. So this is a cute little die set. And again, like I said, we'll take our little um, outlines of our stars and we'll attach those down to their outline or their shadows. And we'll do that for all three of them. Just got to find the right one that it's connected to. It's pretty easy to do. I've cut down another piece of that pattern paper. I'm going to cut a flag banner in each end because we're going to bring those glittery foam stickers in. We're going to use one of those on the center. I'll glue this down right to the middle of our shaker panel. And this is a great card because it doesn't have a lot of bulk, even though it's a shaker. So glue that down right to the center. And then I'll pick out the word I want. I'm gonna use shine. We'll just attach that down to the front. I thought the pink would make the shine pop a little bit more. 
And then I did pull out some of the little dandelion ephemera because those are foiled and I thought that would look really nice with our glitter foam words. And then we'll start attaching down the rest of our pieces. So we have our butterfly and our stars and it just kind of shapes around this really nicely, it frames it really beautifully. And then you have a flat shaker. All right, we'll just finish putting on our last little star and then we're gonna attach down our panel to one of the card bases that came in the kit, just using some of the liquid glue. You could use the tape if you really wanted to, uh, but I wanna make really sure that that's not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, although I think with this double-sided tape, it would be fine. And as you can see, I took some more of the ephemera and I'm putting that on the inside of our card. Don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. I think that goes very well with our shine sentiment on the outside. And that finishes off our second card, which is a shaker card. For card number three, I just love this little saying, and I am going to bring in the frame die again. I actually had already cut one out with the white, so I'm going to peel off the pattern paper off of this white one, pull it out, and it's going to work perfectly. So I'll just use my paper piercer and poke out all of the little extra bits, and then we can move on to the next part, which is getting our card base ready to go after we clean up our desk. <laughs> I'm going to see those little bits for days. <laughs> And I do want to use one of these chipboard stickers for sure. So I'll pull out one of the card bases again, and then I'm going to bring in some patterned paper. And I think this one is so pretty. I'm going to cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. That will be the full front of this A2 size card. And I'll save those leftover scraps for the inside of the card. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just use that tape, double-sided tape, and then we'll adhere this down to the front of our card base. And I like to work from one corner because, you know, if you put that down wrong, it's not coming off. You're going to screw up that paper. So I just try to be really careful when I'm using uh, double-sided adhesive. And then we'll do that again with this saying. Peel off all the release paper on the back of that and try and center that down. It is a little bit crooked when I put it down, but it's okay. It works. <laughs> and then we're going to use our reverse tweezers and some liquid glue to adhere down our little white frame because um, the tape's not going to work on there. It would work, but then it's going to show through and it'll be sticky. So let's stick that down. And then I'm going to open up those chipboard stickers. There's so many cute ones in there. Um, and it just adds this level of dimension to your cards, which is great. So I'm just going to pull out, it's, do, it's front and back as well. So you get a lot of them. I'm going to use this one, this little owl one and stick him down. And then I do pull in a couple of the gold stars that were in the ephemera, and I'll just glue those down as well. And then once I get that done, that is gonna finish off our third card, super quick and easy. For card number four, I'm gonna pull in some of the navy card stock, and I am going to trim this down. I trim it down to be, um, I want to say five inches by three and three quarters inches. And then I'm going to pull in some of the pattern paper. I just love this newsprint pattern paper. And I thought it would go really well with lots of the ephemera. Obviously, everything goes very well together, but I had a thought in my head. So I'm going to trim this one down to be four inches by five and a quarter. So it'll be a little bit bigger than our navy cardstock. And there will still be a white border around all of that uh, for our card base. And so then I'm just gonna go through the ephemera and pull out the ones that I think would go really well with this. And then I'm gonna bring in the stamp set. So I'm finally bringing in the stamp set. I almost forgot about it because all the great ephemera. And I'm going to stamp up or ink up the dandelions using some watermarking, just an embossing ink. And it's gonna look great on that dark cardstock. It'll just give it a watermark effect. And I'm just gonna stamp that across the bottom and then once that's dry we're going to move on to putting some of that uh, double-sided adhesive on the back attach that down to our patterned paper and then again with the double-sided adhesive and attach that down to our card base and then i've got my pieces of ephemera that i'll play around with and then again double-sided adhesive on that we are going crazy with the double-sided adhesive and uh, spoiler alert i do use it all <laughs> Um, I don't know if I use it. I, yeah, I do use it all in this video. 
um, because as you can see, it is definitely getting down there. And I have, I'm very liberal with using it. I just want to make sure nothing goes anywhere. But with double-sided tape, you usually don't have a problem with that. So um, yeah, we're just going to keep using it till it's gone. I'll put a few of those pieces down, and then I loved the typewriter. I thought the typewriter went perfectly with all this, especially that newsprint. So we're going to pop that up using some foam squares, peel off that release paper and put that down. And then I do decide with the filled with happiness, at first I was like, do I want to use double-sided adhesive? But no, I decide to use some foam squares. And three probably would have been enough, <laughs> but I'm extra, so uh, I put four on there. And then we're going to pop that down and then I'm still going to go through the rest of the ephemera and pull out some stars. I loved the little pink stars. I thought those made the little rows on our typewriter pop. So we're just going to put a couple of those down. And then of course we have to do something on the inside. So I'm going to pull in a couple more pieces of ephemera. And then we'll just attach that down. And then when I'm done with that, that is going to finish off our fourth card. And I love this one so much. Now let's get ready to make our fifth card. We are going to trim down some of this foiled cardstock. It's gorgeous. I'm cutting it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I am going to use some pattern paper. We're going to use those butterfly stickers that came in the kit they make a card so easy. So I found this foil dandelions. I thought it would just make the gold on the background pop even more. So I'm going to trim that down and adhere that to the front of our foil or our foiled cardstock. Of course, we'll pull in another card base and um, pull in those stickers. Now I was trying to center them <laughs> and I was not successful. I'm using my glass mat and I, for some reason, put them way too far on the left-hand side. And you'll see that as we go. And they're not even perfectly centered. I'm okay with them not being perfectly centered because, well, this is a handmade card. So that's okay. And nobody's probably going to be looking, as long as it's not egregious, no one's going to be like, I can't believe it's not centered. But if you look at this, it is very uncentered once those butterflies are on there. So I am going to have to put this in my... Um, guillotine trimmer and trim that down a bit after I attach down the sentiment but this is going to be a birthday card I love those butterflies on there my niece's birthday is coming up I think this will be perfect for her um, lots of birthdays coming up so I always need these then we'll attach that down and then we'll pull in the guillotine trimmer and trim off some of that on that right hand side it is bad <laughs> I always eyeball things you'd think I'd learn but I don't so all right we'll use the same double-sided adhesive as much as we can before it runs out and we'll attach that down to the foiled cardstock and then attach that down to our card base and uh, of course I do have to put some ephemera on the inside as well because we have so much of it. It's great. I'm telling you, these kits are so good for making cards for, I mean, you just, you'll have so many pieces to make lots of cards. So if you're minimalist, you'll probably get like, golly, 30, 40 cards out of this thing. But if you like to put a lot on, like I do, maybe a little less. So I'm just continuing to grab just putting it down because it's just making me so happy. And then I'm like, well, I have four pieces down, so I better grab another. <laughs> so I'll put my star down. And then that is actually going to finish off the fifth and final card for this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of the cards that I made for you today. I would love to know which one was your favorite. If you did, in fact, have a favorite, I'll have the kit linked down below. But be sure to list which one you liked the best. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.